to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to crochet these cute little jellyfish here. They're super colorful, super cute, and I love the little tentacles. I also have a free written pattern on my Instagram if you prefer to follow a written pattern. Um, this is a visual tutorial if you're a visual learner like me and you prefer to follow along. It's a beginner pattern, but it's helpful to know how to do um, a single crochet, a double crochet, a slip knot, and a magic ring. I show you guys how I do mine in this tutorial, but I don't go super in depth. So if you would like a crochet basics, crochet 101 type of video, I'd be happy to film that for you guys. Just let me know in the comments. Uh, but for now, let's get right into the tutorial. So for this project, you're gonna need some chunky yarn. I'm using Parfait Chunky. I'll link the ones that I use down below. And then I'm gonna use uh, this blue color for the body. And then we're making six tentacles. So I'm gonna do two in pink, two in lavender, and then two in this dark purple color. So for this project, I'm using a six millimeter hook. And then I'm also gonna use some scissors, a yarn needle to sew in your ends, and then some safety eyes. These are 20, 20 millimeter, but you can also use smaller if you'd like. And then some fiber fill to stuff it. So to make our tentacles, you're gonna grab your tentacle color you're going to make a slip knot. Get that on your hook. So after we make our slip knot, we're gonna chain 25. So we have 25 chains. So in our second chain from the hook, that's this chain right here, this one right here, we're going to make two single crochet stitches. One and two. In our next chain from the hook, that's this one right here. We're going to place three single crochet stitches. So one, two, three. And we're gonna do that, we're gonna repeat that all the way down the chain. So we're alternating between two single crochet and three single crochet in the same stitch. So two in the next one, one, two and then three single crochet in the next one two three and you can see here that it's starting to curl up already on its own so it's a pretty cool effect just by alternating between two single crochet and three single crochet. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row. And your tentacle should look like this. So from here, what I like to do is chain one. And then I'm going to cut a tail kind of as long as my starting tail. It doesn't have to be too big, just about a few inches like that. I'm going to make five more tentacles. I'm going to do one more in lavender, and then I'm going to do two in that dark purple color and two in that pink color. And then I'll meet you guys back here when we're done. We're just repeating this pattern for all the tentacles. Okay, I'm going to be starting off with a magic ring. If you don't know how to do a magic ring, you can also chain two and then work into the first chain. 
but this is how I like to do my magic ring. So I hold it with these two fingers here and then I take my working yarn and I wrap it around an X like this. And then I grab this yarn here where I'm holding my other yarn. I take my hook, I go underneath the first strand and then I pull through, twist it like that, and then I'm gonna chain one. So that's how I do my magic ring. And now I'm gonna work into the center. So I'm gonna work six single crochet into the magic ring. And then I'm gonna pull gently to tighten it closed. Don't pull too hard because you don't want your yarn to snap. But we're gonna start round two by doing an increase in the first stitch. And an increase is two single crochet in one stitch. So, push your hook under that stitch, one single crochet, and then go into the same stitch and do your second single crochet. And that's one increase. You're gonna do that in all the stitches all around until you have 12 stitches total. Single crochet, single crochet. That's your second increase. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And at this point, I like to go back and count and make sure I have twelve stitches all around. And then just hold on lightly to the center and then pull on your magic ring really gently. Not too tight because you don't want your yarn to snap, but you just want it to be tight enough that the hole is closed. Like that. And then for round three, you're gonna go back into that first single crochet. And you're gonna do one single crochet. And now we're gonna take a bobby pin and mark this stitch. You can also use a stitch marker. I just like using bobby pins because they're more readily available. And then for round three, you're gonna go back into that first single crochet. And you're gonna do one single crochet. And now we're gonna take a bobby pin and mark this stitch. And I'm gonna mark that first stitch that we just did. Okay. After we've done our single crochet, we're gonna go into the next stitch and we're gonna do an increase. So two single crochet in this one stitch. And then we're gonna repeat that all around. So one single crochet, increase. One single crochet, increase. Until we have 18 stitches. I'm gonna take out our stitch marker and we're gonna do one single crochet in that first stitch for round four and then mark that stitch again. Okay, now that I've done one single crochet, I'm gonna do one single crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm gonna do an increase in the third stitch. So that's single crochet, single crochet, increase. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, two single crochet, increase. One single crochet, one single crochet, one increase. Okay, so at the end of round four, you should have 24 stitches. For round five, we're gonna do one single crochet. Always mark that first stitch. 
one single crochet one single crochet and then an increase so three single crochet and then an increase first single crochet second single crochet third single crochet and then increase So at the end of round five, you should have 30 stitches in total. We're going to do one more increase round. So we're going to go into round six with one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, fourth single crochet, and then we're going to increase on the fifth stitch. So four single crochet increase is the pattern for this round. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. One, two, three, four, increase. Okay, so at the end of round six, you should have 36 stitches. After round six, we're going to do eight rows of just single crochet, one single crochet in each stitch. So round seven, one single crochet. And we just repeat that all the way around for eight rounds. I just finished my eight rounds of a single crochet so you should have 14 rounds in total so for round 15 we're gonna do four single crochet and then we're gonna do a decrease so I'll show you what that looks like one single crochet two three four and then you want to do a decrease in the next stitch i'm going to do an invisible decrease it just gives a more cleaner look for amigurumi so to do that i'm going to take my hook and go under the front loop only so instead of going under that entire v i'm going to go under the front loop of this stitch and then i'm going to go under the front loop of the next stitch So you have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through those two loops. And then you have your last two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through. And that's your invisible decrease. So we're gonna repeat that all the way around. Four single crochet, two, three, four. And then invisible decrease, front loop, front loop, pull through, one, two, So after your last invisible decrease, for round 16, we're gonna do three single crochet and then an invisible decrease. And this is our last decreasing round. So one single crochet, two, three, and then your invisible decrease. Front loop, 
front loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're repeating that pattern all the way around. Okay, so that was our last decreasing round. Your jellyfish should start to look like this. It's gonna be the little head. And then for our next round, we're gonna be using double crochet stitches to make um, little shell stitches for the little fins. So I'll show you how to do that. Take out your stitch marker So in the first stitch, you're going to do one single crochet, but you're going to do it in the front loop only. So you're going to take your hook and instead of going under both loops like that, you're just going to go under one loop like we did for the invisible decrease. And we're just going to do one single crochet. Okay. And then we're going to take our stitch marker and we're going to mark the back loop that we did not crochet into. Okay. Because so we're going to need this for later. So after you've marked the back loop only of that stitch, we started with our one single crochet. We're gonna skip the next stitch and we're gonna work into the stitch after that, but we're gonna work into only the front loop of this stitch. We're gonna do five double crochet stitches into that front loop only to make our first shell stitch. To do a double crochet, you're gonna yarn over and we're going into that front loop only. Yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on your, you have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through the last two. That's one double crochet. You're gonna repeat that until you have five double crochet stitches in total. It's your second double crochet, third double crochet, fourth, and fifth. So now you have five double crochet stitches in that front loop only. We're gonna skip this next stitch and then single crochet in the front loop only of the next stitch. So go under that front loop and then single crochet. And that's our first little fin. And then we're gonna repeat that all the way around. So this is our first, this is our single crochet. We're gonna yarn over skip one stitch, front loop only of the next stitch, and then do five double crochet stitches. All right, we have five double crochet in that front loop only, and then again, we're gonna skip the next stitch, and then single crochet in the front loop only of the last, of the next stitch. We're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around. And all your back loops should be um, unoccupied by any stitches because we're gonna be working into those at the end of this round to close up our jellyfish. Okay, I just completed my last shell stitch. 
the five double crochet into that front, front loop only. Now from here, this was my very first single crochet in this round. We're gonna slip stitch into there. So it's a slip stitch, we're gonna take our hook, go under that single crochet. We're gonna yarn over, pull through. You got two loops on your hook. And then we're gonna yarn, we're gonna, sorry, pull the first loop through that last loop. And that's a slip stitch. So, then we're gonna flip these little fins down so that we have our back loops only over here. So what we're gonna do from here, we're gonna chain one like that. And then we're gonna single crochet in the back loops only all around. So your first single crochet is gonna go where that stitch marker is. One single crochet, and then you can mark that off again. And then we're gonna continue to single crochet in the back loops only. Okay, so after you've done your single crochet in the back loops only for that round, it should look like this. And I'm gonna put in the safety eyes now. I'm gonna put them in between rounds 10 and 11. So I put mine between rounds 10 and 11, about mm, five to six stitches apart. And then I'm just going to secure them. Okay, so now that we have our safety eyes secured, we're going to go back in. And we're going to start to close up our jellyfish just a little bit. So for this round, we're going to do two single crochet, and then an invisible decrease. So, one, and two. And then we're gonna do our invisible decrease front loop, front loop, pull through, and then pull through. We're going to repeat that all the way around. One, two, front loop, front loop, pull through two, pull through two. So you should have 18 stitches left. So we're gonna start to stuff our jellyfish. And when you're stuffing, you're gonna wanna use like small pieces like this so that it's easier to shape it. Okay, so we have our body here with that last round that we just did with the two single crochet decrease. And then I have my six tentacles over here. So now I'm gonna show you how to tie the tentacles onto the body. So uh, first things first, I'm just gonna do that first single crochet into that first stitch to start off the next round. And I'm gonna mark it. And I'm going to pause here. 
And now I'm gonna tie on my first tentacle. So I'm gonna turn my work so that my the beginning of my row is up top. So you guys can see this a little bit better. So that's our first single crochet. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna push my hook through the stitch right next to it. And then I'm gonna take one of my um, tentacles and then you have your two strands on the end right here. I'm gonna take one of the strands and pull it through with my hook towards the inside like that and then I'm gonna go into the stitch I'm gonna take my hook and push it through the stitch right next to it and then I'm gonna pull that second strand through so here you can see I pulled them through the two stitches and now we're just gonna tie this off so I like to make three little knots one and then we can the, just push those into the body so we're gonna do that for all of our tentacles to make sure that they're evenly placed I'm gonna skip the next stitch and then I'm going to push my th hook through this stitch right here the one right next to it and then I'm going to do that same thing so I'm going to take one of the strands pull it through and then I'm going to keep going into the stitch next to it and do the same thing pull it through And then I'm going to make my three knots right here. One, two, and three. And then your stitches, you should still be able to see your stitches because we're going to be crocheting into that for the next round. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. So skip the next one go into the next one pull through next stitch pull through and then we're gonna tie these off Okay, so now that you have all your little tentacles tied on, it's going to look something like this. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit more stuffing before I start to close it up a little bit more. So I'm going to take my working yarn and go back into that row. We've already done our first single crochet. So now from here, the pattern is going to be one single crochet, decrease. One single crochet, decrease. And instead of doing an invisible decrease for this round, I'm going to do just a regular single crochet decrease. So that was my one single crochet. And then to decrease right here, I'm going to go through both loops, pull through. And then I'm going to go through the next one under both loops and pull through. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on my hook. 
So that's my first decrease. And then I'm gonna do one single crochet. And then I'm gonna decrease again. Just a regular single crochet decrease. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more stuffing. And you want to stuff it to the point where it keeps its shape. You don't want to overstuff it to the point where you can see the stuffing through the holes. And then our last, our very last round is going to be our last round of decreases. And we're just going to decrease in every stitch all around. And I'm going to be going through the front loops only. So I'm going to be doing six invisible decreases. So you should have six stitches by the end of this round. Okay, and then that invisible decrease is front loop front loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's our first invisible decrease, and we're repeating that all the way around. I'm coming up on my last Invisible decrease right here. Ah. Okay. You can take out your stitch marker for good. And then how I like to end my amigurumi, I like to slip stitch into that next stitch. Chain one to secure. And then snip off just a few inches of yarn tail just to close up the hole. About that long. Right. And that should be pretty firm. You just want to shape him to your liking. You can add a little bit more stuffing here too right before you close it up. And then to close it up, you're going to take your yarn needle, thread the loop, and then I like to go in and out through the front loops only here. Out. And then you're going to pull it very gently to close up that hole. And then to secure it, I'm going to fasten off. So I'm going to go through just any, any space right here, any stitch that's right next to it. I'm going to pull my yarn, but make sure there's a loop right here, so don't pull it all the way through. And then once you have your little loop, go underneath. And then you're going to pull that to make a little knot. And then I'm going to do that one more time. just to secure that in place. All right, and now I'm gonna push this 
yarn needle through and come out anywhere on the body. Gently pull on that yarn and then cut the tail. Make sure that tail is tucked in and you can't see it. Brush off your little fuzzies. And there you have your cute little jellyfish. <laughs>